What's going on, everybody? Let's get down to business. So I went ahead and listened to Michael Bay Will's press conference, okay? So if you guys have already checked it out, you'll know what he just said. Now, let me give you some info about what he said. And, you know, there are things that he said in that press conference that made me feel a lot better. Number one, you know... He has announced that Cliff is no longer going to be with the Arizona Cardinals moving forward, and Steve Keim has resigned. But, you know, one of the many things that made me feel really happy is that he was not kidding when he said he wanted a drastic change. Today proved it. It shouldn't take... Or, I mean, it should not take Michael Bidwell long enough to realize Cliff and Keim cannot be here. Okay, if he wants to be successful, clean house. Okay? And, you know, he said that he's never seen a coach that works just as hard as Cliff, but, you know, he and him had conversations. Michael Bidwell and Cliff Kingsbury had conversations, and it was a tough decision. I mean, it was a very tough decision, you know. I don't want to see somebody lose their job, but you know what? If you don't do your job, then get the heck out of here then. Okay? Also... He wants to hire a GM before he hires a head coach, which is a good thing, okay? And Kyler Murray does get to have input of the head coach, okay? <laughs> also, he does understand that, you know, he, you know, should not have given Cliff and Kime extensions. It should not have happened, okay? I think giving them extensions bit him in the butt and he knows it however this gives cliff this gives michael bidwell opportunities to hire outside of the organization because quentin harris and adrian wilson aren't the only ones they need to interview they also interview guys like ian cunningham okay from the bears but now keep in mind He's, he was with the Eagles and Ravens. Okay, he's won a Super Bowl as a scout with the Philadelphia Eagles in 2017. They have hired the assistant manage, uh, assistant general manager from the Niners. So guys, to be honest, it's good that they're not rushing the process. They shouldn't have to, okay? But also, you know, he said that there are things that went totally against the Arizona Cardinals in 2022. The injuries stacked up. I'm glad he didn't make excuses for the injuries. Thank the thank God they that he didn't. Also, DeAndre Hopkins' suspension got in the way too. But guys, but the way he said, but the way the team performed, okay, this year, their record was terrible, and I just it just. I'm glad that Michael Bidwell decided to make a change. Okay, I'm glad that he grew balls. Okay, and and. Fired them. Fired Cliff and Kime. And now the next guy that probably needs to be gone too, and I promise you, it's Vance Joseph. He is not fit to be a head coach. Yesterday proved it. Okay. So thank you all for watching. Okay. I would like for you guys to hit that like and subscribe button. Okay. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts about Michael Bidwell's press conference. Thank you.